Now, players, real quick, the disclaimer of this video is that if you are a beginner player learning how to do techniques, don't watch this video, okay? This is not a concept and tutorial for people to learn how to play table tennis. This video is, is specifically targeted at players who are about to start or are already competing in competitive matches. This exercise drill is to improve your speed, your footwork, your aggression, your sharpness, and all those things. So yeah, if you're a beginner, don't watch this. But if you want to compete and start beating players, this is a video for you. Hi there, and welcome back or to Top and Tablands. I'm Coach Eddie, and today's tutorial is actually brought from an idea that I've, well actually, I shot this video back in June 2022. No lie, June 2022. And I did this by myself, and it didn't really work out because, yeah, you, could, you can't do this tutorial by yourself because you, you need a real ball concept to this. So yeah, I'm gonna do this video and I'm gonna do it better than last time because I'm gonna break this down into three versions. So today's video is the beginner version of how to perform and train Falkenberg technique. One big difference between last time and this time is that I actually have special help and that is Coach Anna, representing women in Table Dance Ireland. She's their coach, and today she's my assistant coach, and she's gonna help me show you with real ball effect of multi balls and exercise drill on how to perform the Falkenberg. Again, this is for beginner level. So this is, does not even include the players who are just starting to compete, but also players who may have a disability or players who have physical restraints. And this exercise is perfect for you to start pushing yourself to the next level and get faster, better, and stronger. But yeah. Hope the intros are getting better. Let's get right to it. So, the Falkenberg technique, world famous, made by a Swedish player in Falkenberg Table Tennis Club, some part of Sweden. And the exercise drill is basically for you to place the ball, target the ball in the backhand area, you do a backhand, then you do another ball from here with a forehand, and then you do a final ball over here with another forehand. That's the basic foundation of it. The beginner level of the foundation is gonna be one backhand over here, forehand over here in the middle, so there's less movement, and then you do a final ball, as always, in here, forehand. The one thing you don't do straight away is this excess. Coach Anna, give me ball one, two, and three. And watch this, and don't do this. Backhand, forehand, forehand. Now, looks on camera, it looks on the coach that I've actually done my excess. But what didn't I do? I didn't actually move. You have to move. This exercise isn't about hitting the ball aggressively or fast on the table. This exercise is about your feet. You have to move your legs. I want you to miss the next thousand balls as long as you move your feet. Because what you're supposed to do is move for the second ball, you do your backhand, the second ball you move a little bit left, open your body, take your weight from one side to the other side, and then use your skip, use your jump to the other position, and do exactly the same than to jump back. Right, go China, let's go. One over there, see how I'm moving. Boom, and then you repeat once more. Let me show you an example. So yeah, as you saw, I always get a ball here, here, and here. The forehand jump over here, make sure you make a big giant leap by transitioning your weight and or being on your tippy toes to push yourself deeper into the position. I'm a quite tall guy, so I actually can just sort of, you know, come from this ball and almost reach myself, you know, everywhere. That's my jump, it's very shallow. But remember, you, depending on your height, you might need a bigger jump to the position. The one thing I need you to focus on is even if you miss, even if you miss the backhand and the forehand, keep moving with your legs. Keep moving because you will get into the rhythm. That's why multi balls is the best thing in the world. You can even have it slow down. So, coach, I'm gonna do, give me a slow ball. Three balls. Give me slow. One over here. I can move. Then she hits it. I can move. And then she hits it. See? And you can speed up. If you feel like you're already getting faster and better, instead of having a second ball over here, so one backhand and forehand, have one backhand here, and maybe have a forehand for the second ball over here and then over here. That will make you harder movement because you can't do the same. You're gonna get jammed up. So when you do your backhand, you'll move up a little bit more, more over here. Second ball, and then a bigger jump over here. And that's how you can transition yourself into the next intermediate level. But I'll do a video separately on that. So one over here, backhand, one little harder. There you go, one bigger jump, and that's it. And then you can do it in a faster pace. Let's do it a little faster. One, two, 
grip. See, that's how it goes. But let me show you what it looks like if you can, you know, get it, get to that level. How you can play with a teammate to go for even more realistic example. So now, instead of multi-ball, we're going to progress to the next level. I'm going to choose you to be the controller, I'm going to be attacker, and you can choose. Again, you can tell, you can ask your teammate or your coach to say, like, put me ball here or over here. We'll do the beginner. One, two, and three. I'm going to keep it basic and simple, nice, easy rhythm. I'm going to give her all the balls in her backhand area so it's easier for her to control. But again, you can move on later on to do a backhand from there, forehand in the forehand, and forehand in the forehand. But I'm going to give everything to my coach Anna in the backhand. So let's go. That's me. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Not the basic I didn't move. I have to move. That's the point. I need to move forward. See how she's moving? I'm losing control. Even though the ball's on the table, if my coach or my teammate is doing this, I'm making a mistake. It's not on her or you, okay? Or him. The point is, I need to slow down and concentrate even more. Clearly, I can move the task. So, but anyway, let's go again. All right, coach is a little shy. <laughs> See, now the coach is not moving. Oh, I didn't move. No, it's not on her. I didn't move. I need to anticipate and watch. That is why people don't rush. Just because you think you can do a multi-boss, until you get a nice rhythm of maybe hitting like 20 in a row, do not move. Let's go for one more. Okay, a fine basic movement. Really watch the ball and shut up and focus. I make a move, I need to find control. I did it. Slow it down now, so I don't make mistakes. Let's do a little slow. One, two, slow down. There's no shame, just go down and find your rhythm. See? This is much better for you when you slow down. Much, much better. So yeah, that's the exit. It's not that complicated. Just only three balls, one, two, and three. When you get intermediate and advanced level, you can have five to seven balls. But for now, just focus on one, two, and three. Let me show you one more summary on how it looks like. And remember, do the first ball and open yourself up. Give yourself a lot of space. Don't stay you know, stiff to it. Open up a big giant lead for the third ball. Let's go. Okay. One, two, and three. One, open up, and big jump. And back. Open up. Ah, big jump. That's a good one. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next week.